So what I'd like to talk to you about today is the fact that this time of year we really should be concerned with tick prevention. Uh, the deer ticks are our main culprit of disease transmission these days in our area and in the UP. We'll see Lyme disease cases almost throughout the whole year. The deer ticks will come up alive off the trees or somehow in the winter time if it's over 35 degrees for a few days. So our preventative aids really should be applied to your dogs year round. Um, we've seen positive Lyme cases throughout the year, sick animals as well, and there really isn't a season to it. It seems to kind of ebb and flow as we go forward throughout the year. We've always been used to the big wood, wood ticks that would come about usually May, June, July, and our preventatives used to be just for about three months, but that's changed in the last six to seven years as things have marched north. So not only Lyme disease do these ticks carry, they carry other diseases such as anaplasma and ehrlichia, which are tick-borne diseases that we don't have any vaccine for. They can be treated, but again, we're seeing more and more incidents of that. Last year, I'd say we saw over 200 positive Lyme cases come through the door. It doesn't mean they were all sick, but they got exposed. This year is definitely on that same path again. There are a number of different preventatives you can use. There's a monthly oral pill you can give. There's also a topical you can give um, once a month as well. So there is also a once every three month oral preventative for fleas and ticks called Brevecto. All of these work very well and cost wise, they all work out about the same per month. Um, cat world, they're very fastidious, but they can get uh, tick problems as well, and there are some different topical preventatives for cats. There is a collar you can use for dogs. The only one I've ever seen that really does work is something called a Ceresto collar. There are a number of flea and tick collars on the market, but I find they haven't been very effective. They only work very regionally around their neck, and they don't get far away from where they're actually located on the dog, like their feet. So I would recommend something a little bit more powerful if you're going to do it, versus just a flea and tick collar that you can get at a hardware store. So trying to stay in a regular schedule of your flea and tick preventative, especially for the ticks, the pro uh, products, the same for both, is really important these days in the UP. And I would say again, year-round prevention is really good. If not snow to snow, I would do use a preventative in that the deer ticks do come alive if it's over 35 degrees for a few days. All right, thanks for listening. Remember, be your pet's best advocate. Call people if you have questions, see if you can get answers. If you wonder what's going on, there's lots of veterinarians out there. Thanks so much.